Hey guys and gals! Today we are going to try to put our information into our data notebooks and I want to show you how to do this using a video so that you can go at your own speed. You're watching this video today from Classroom so you'll see that my homepage here is at Classroom okay and so we have watched our video or you've started the video. Once you are done with the video or have paused it to where you can come back to it you're going to come up to the top and add a tab. Okay, when we add a tab, we'll just come right over here and click on Mail, which will get us to our Gmail account. When you get to your Gmail account, you should have a, an email at the very, very top that is either from No Reply or from Pollock Amanda. Okay, I had to forward one to myself so it says it's from me, but yours should say from No Reply or it's from Pollock Amanda. You'll click on this email account and it tells you automatically what your score is out of 80 points on your pretest that we took the first couple days of school. Okay, you'll see here that my score on this is not so hot. And again, this is a pretest, so I don't expect you to do 100% on this. Okay, obviously, if you had got 100% on this, then eighth grade science or seventh grade science, depending on what you're doing, might be kind of boring. Okay, this is all stuff we are going to learn this year, and this is going to be able to show your growth as the year goes on. Okay, so for the first part of this, we have a couple things to look at. When you look down and scroll down through your email, you'll see some red boxes. And then hopefully you'll see a few green boxes too. The green boxes are in reference to answers you got correct. So for example, on section A of the test, which I happen to know is about the nature of science and scientific method, I missed the first three questions, one, two, and three, A1, A2, and A3. I got them incorrect, but I did get A4 right. Okay, A5, A6, A7, A8, A9, and then A10 are the rest of this section. You'll notice where it says A10 here, and then we go to B1 here. When we are recording data today, we are going to do it in batches regarding the nut letter, the numbers. Okay, so section A, 10 questions. Let's look at how many I got right. So A1 is wrong, A2 is wrong, A3 is wrong. A4 is right, so that's so far one right. And I scroll on down, and I get a second one right at A10. So that means on section A, I got two out of ten answers correct. Okay, so take a moment right now and flip to page five in your notebook. Okay, now your page five of your notebook should look very similar to this. Okay, I have nature science. Now, seventh graders, don't stress out. I know yours isn't exactly the same, but everybody starts out with nature science. And if you look right here, it says A1 through A10. That's what questions we were looking at. And if you guys will remember, I got a score of 2 out of 10. So I'm going to enter 2 out of 10 in that little box. Now, obviously, you guys will handwrite this. And the cool part about that is you can put it at the size you want. Okay. Now, if I got a 2 out of 10, we're now going to graph that information. And remember, 2 slash 10 means 2 out of 10. We're going to graph this information. I have a chart here from 1 to 10. If I got two of them correct, okay, if I got two of them correct, that means that I am going to color in two boxes, okay? So you will see here that I'm going to color in two boxes. Now, guys and gals, obviously I expect you to do a bit of a neater job here, so we're going to undo those two and, like I said, two out of ten. Okay, now you're going to just use your pencil, color those first two top boxes in. Okay, so far, and you guys will notice, we have one of the eight different ones we have to do. Once you have circled colored in your 2 out of 10, then you'll go to section B, which is shown right here. For 8th graders, that's measurement and metrics. 7th graders will be a different topic, but it's still the same thing. You have section B, 10 questions. So we'll go back to our email, and we have right here, look where it says B1. So B1, B2, B3, all the way to B10. How many questions did I get correct? Well, we're going to look at 
how many green boxes in section B. There's one, two, three out of the ten are correct. So in section B, I got a three out of ten. So I will go back to page five, section B, three out of ten. So I will put three slash ten, so that shows me it's three out of ten. Okay, we will put it in the spot for section B, and then we will highlight, or actually you guys will color in three out of ten. Now, I am doing this with a mouse and obviously am not the best at getting it super, super neat, but I do expect your boxes to be colored in very, very neatly. Okay. At this point in time, you should have a pretty good handle on how to do this part, but we'll do one more. We'll do section C together. Okay. So we're going to go back to our email, scroll down to section C, which starts at C1. Let's look all the way down to C10. Okay. So back up to C1. I have one correct, two, three. So for section C, again, I have three out of ten. I'll go back to page five, okay, and I need to write three out of ten again. Now, we'll put that in section three, and then we will color in three out of ten, okay? Now, remember to make sure that you are doing this all on day one. So if you guys will take a second and look up here and make sure that this right here says day one because obviously this is the day one test that we are doing and we don't want to do it for quarter. So at this point in time we have done letters A, B, and C. You will need to continue on and to do D through H, okay ladies and gentlemen, and then here at the bottom once you've done that, we want to put our total. So if you'll give me just a moment and we'll go back to our email. And if we scroll all the way to the top, you will notice that your grade right here, 22 out of 80, is what you'll put there. So we'll come back and we will write 22 out of 80 right there in that box. Okay. Seventh graders, you will notice that you actually have this advanced proficient basic and below basic over here on your printed out sheet. Eighth graders, you should have written this in. If you are in my second hour class, you might not have written this in yet. Go ahead and take the time to do so now. Again, just four boxes and then advanced proficient basic and below basic. Remember, all of this should go on day one work, and you will need to finish for D through H. You will also need to circle, or not circle, but fill in the boxes for the correct numbers. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next thing we are going to do is we're going to go to page... Ten, I believe it is. Yes, page ten in your composition book and you will see here that it says A, Nature of Science. That's your topic area at the top. Today we are going to graph. Again, this is the number correct and you'll notice that we have a day one, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four as our testing times. Again, this testing time is your day one testing time. So if you flip back to So when we look back on page 5, we will see that on Nature Science we got a 2 out of 10. So we flip back to page 10 and we see Nature of Science, make sure you're putting it on the correct graph, and we got the number correct is 2 out of 10 on day 1. At this point in time, you would take your colored pencil marker, whatever, and not mark it on zero because that's not what you got 
but you'll mark it on two out of ten. So right here at two out of ten, you will put a dot. Obviously we will not put anything more on quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, because we haven't taken those tests. You will do this again for each of the eight graphs, only marking your dots on day one. I would like to remind you that you probably don't want to cover up the letter two on this. Um, so when you're doing it, make a nice neat dot that is a little bit smaller so that you can see it more easily. Perhaps, well, it's not really to me resize it, but perhaps a little bit smaller than that. Okay, then you would go back to page five and you would look at metrics and measurement or the other co topic for seventh graders and see you got a three out of ten and for that one you would mark up to a three. That concludes my demonstration or examples on how to do this. If you have questions you need to re-watch this video at least three times before you ask them so that you have made sure that you have looked through all this. Thanks guys, and I hope this works well. Let me know any feedback on things I can change to make this video a little bit better. Thanks again.